Shalom Akiyam Wa Akwath of the elect of the nation of Israel. Welcome back to another summer exhortation number six entitled Continue to Feed His Sheep. I'll read that one more time. Continue to feed his sheep. Okay, and the sheep are the sheep of Yahweh Shai, so called. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which is the nation of Israel. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, the house of Israel is synonymous to the sheep or the lost sheep because our people are lost. Okay, they are gone astray. Like it tells you that in the book of Jeremiah 50 and 17. Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria hath devoured him. And last, this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, hath broken his bones. So before we go any further into summer exhortation number six continue to feed his sheep which is the nation of israel we give all praises to our power yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rahakwadash double honor to the apostles and elders at great millstone who rule well and teach well with sound doctrine and shalom to the israelite foreigners who are scattered amongst the heathen in these last days in these last days, you so-called Negroes, you so-called Hispanics, and you so-called Native Americans, you make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And these images are examples of how our Lord and Savior and our Heavenly Father looks like, like so-called black men pursuing to Daniel, the seventh chapter, Revelation, the first chapter, and many other prophecies. Okay, the house of Judah, which is your so called Negroes, and the house of Israel, which is synonymous with the house of uh, Ephraim as well, okay, which is Jerusalem, you know, Samaria, ultimately the 12 tribes, okay, so called Latinos. Negroes, Latinos make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So this is an exhortation for you brothers who are still fighting. The good fight of faith. Matter of fact, let me get that. Who are still con continually okay, fighting the demons. 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Yeah, so this fight is very good. It's a good fight. The fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou are also called you see that so the lord called you brothers to fight the good fight of faith and part of fighting the good fight of faith is to feed yahweh sheep it says and has professed a good profession before many witnesses so that's our job okay to have a, a good report okay have a, a passion for the truth which the truth is, Yahweh Shai, pursuing to John, the 14th chapter. Matter of fact, let me get that. I am the truth. Okay, Yahweh Shai said that he is the truth. And we must keep speaking about the main character, which is Yahweh Shai. The truth, John 14 and 6, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You see that? So to have a good report, to fight the good fight of faith, okay, you must keep, you know, feeding the lambs, the sheep of Yahweh Shai. And that's the way to the truth. Okay, that's the way to life through Yahweh Shai. So back to the main point of the lesson, continue to feed his sheep. This is 1 Peter 5 and 2. 
feed the flock of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Verse 3, neither as being lords over God's heritage, which is the Lord's legacy, but being examples to the flock. You see that? So part of feeding the sheep of Yahweh Shai, feeding his lambs, is being a great example. And how can you be a great example amongst the, young, the younger brothers, you know, the younger sisters, or even older brothers and sisters? And you got to make sure you continue, okay, in the faith. You keep teaching, you know, you keep uh, edifying, you know, you keep showing uh, charity. You keep doing your uh, diligent duties. Okay, that's how you show, okay, your uh, your report amongst Yahweh Bashmiah Shai. That's how you please the Heavenly Father by feeding His sheep first and foremost. Like it tells you that here. In the book of John, which is the gospel, the gospel is the good news. John 21 and 15. And as you see in the title, it says the love motivation. You see, so this truth or the truth, which is Yahweh Shai, that, that should be your motivation, man. You should be uh, motivated to feed the sheep. Okay, if you want a uh, glory and something, if you want to. Okay, be proud of something. A be proud of loving to feed the sheep. Okay, that's the only time you brothers must be proud. Okay, though the scripture says pride goeth before destruction. Yeah, meaning behaving like the so-called white man, like Esau, Edom. But on the right hand side, you can actually be proud and glorify and Yahweh Shai. Okay, glorify and. And being proud of uh, teaching the sheep, man. Okay. John 21 and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh Shai saith to Simon Peter, right? Which Simon Peter, that's the, the main head, man. The main head of the disciples. And Peter is the rock. Okay. One of the uh, rocks, okay, of Yahweh Shai. You know, Yahweh Shai being that, that main rock. But Peter was given... Okay, a uh, a bigger portion of Yahweh Shai's rock. Okay, which Peter actually does mean. Okay, literally it means rock. Okay, going to the Greek word, it's Petros. Strong's G, 4074, Petras. Okay, Petras. a rock or a stone. One of the 12 disciples of Yahweh Shai, which Peter came out of the tribe of uh, Judah. And if brothers don't know a, a quick fact about Peter is that Peter, he was the first disciple. He was the first, you know, uh, Israelite, so to speak, to be uh, woken to the truth by Yahweh Shai. And that's what made him the, ma the main head via also a predestination. And there's an example. This is Matthew 4. Matthew 4, and let me get straight to the point. Matthew 4 and 18. And Yahweh Shai, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter. You see that? So the first brother that Yahweh Shai saw was who? Simon Peter, which is David, if you can receive it. And Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And in order for brothers to become fishers of men, you must cast your net into the sea. Okay? Meaning you have to uh, teach, man. You know, teach, you know, the sheep. You know, the sea represents the people. Okay, in the seer, you will have clean and unclean, you know, uh, uh, creatures, sea creatures. You got octopus, you got whales, 
you got sharks, okay, you got tilapia, you got piranhas, okay, you have clean fish with the scales, scales and fins, and that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming to catch the clean fish. And examples of catching clean fish is by what? John 21, 15. So when they had so when they had dying, Yahweh saith unto Simon Peter, right, the first apostle, the first disciple of Yahweh, which is the main head, the main head of Israel, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yah Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. You see, so if you love Yahweh, you will continue to feed his lamps and that's a commandment if you love me keep my commandments this is the book of john 14 and 15 if you love me keep my commandments you see that so if you love yahweh you must keep his commandments it says a divine rule especially one of the ten commandments again if you love me keep my commandments so if you love the word, which the word is Yahweh Shai, okay, you must keep his commandments. This is the book of Exodus, the 28th chapter. Exodus 20 and 1. Give me a second. Love the Lord. Con Exodus 26. And, sho and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. You see that? And keep my commandments. So if you love Yahweh, you will keep his commandments. And that's how the Lord shows mercy. And part of the Lord showing mercy on you is giving you the power to continue to feed his sheep. Okay, matter of fact, let's go into the word feed. Feed. It says to give food to, provide, you see, so continue to provide food for the sheep, to cook, to nourish, to sustain. So we must, as brothers in this truth, sustain and feed the flock of Yahweh Shema Shai. This is the prophecy of Isaiah 55 and 1. Ho, oh, everyone that thirsteth, yeah, like the sheep. The lost sheep of the nation of Israel are very thirsty, man. Daily, come ye to the waters, which is his truth. And he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yeah, combine wine and milk without money and without price. You see, so hey, the sheep are very thirsty and they are very hungry. And our job is to feed them. You see, nourish them with what? With the word. This Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread over adversity. Yeah, the bread is also symbolic to the truth. But the bread can also signify adversity. Why? Because the nation of Israel has transgressed the law of the Heavenly Father. Therefore, the Lord gave us to adversity, man. Catch in hell. And the water of affliction. You see, water is symbolic also to affliction adversity and affliction so though we received adversity and affliction in the land of our captivity yet shall not thy teachers right which is you brothers out there man okay you you brothers you must uh, keep your post okay keep your foundation okay your teachers be removed into a corner anymore but thine eyes you see that so the sheep the eyes of the sheep will see their teachers and the teachers will feed them with the word of life. Okay. And part of uh, feeding the sheep, the sheeps of Yahweh, Shema, Shai, the words of eternal life is by telling them what? And thine ear shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way you see. So we must feed the sheep. By telling them 
so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans of the elect. This is the way. Walk ye in it. And we just broke it down in John 14 and 6. Yahushai being the way. Yahushai saith unto him, I am the way. You see? The truth and the life. So John 14 and 6. That, that was a prophecy when Yahweh Shai said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. That was a prophecy here in Isaiah 30 and 21. This is the way. So the prophets of Yahweh Shemel Shai are telling you, sheep, that Yahweh Shai is the way. Walk ye in it. You see, walk in the ways of Yahweh Shai when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. And after you come to Yahweh Shai, you will start to what? To defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornament, yeah, these false idols, of thy molten images of gold. Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth. Thou shalt say unto it, get thee hence. Yeah, in other words, you will tell the, the devil man to depart. Okay, flee from me shatan man because now you want to serve your power so going back to john 21 15 he saith unto him yeah lord thou knowest that i love thee he saith unto him feed my lambs okay and that was just the first okay response and now yahweh shai wanted to know if uh you know uh peter was uh able to understand that's why yahweh shai asked peter you know three times if you love me feed my sheep and you can also apply okay you know the the name of peter okay as the uh the house of david so you might be a brother that goes by the name of uh you know yahawadah uh, aparayam yawasap or any uh hebrew name that yahawabah shmiel shai gave you in the spirit okay you can apply that here john 21 16 yahawah shai saith unto him again the second time Israel, okay, Hebrew Israelite, Negro, Latino, Native American, okay, son of Yahweh, whether you're from the tribe of Judah, you know, Ephraim, Issachar, lovest thou me? You see, so the Lord is asking you, brothers, if you love him, okay, and your answer must be what? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, th thou knowest that I love thee. Yeah, you see that? So if you love the Lord, Okay, the Lord's response is going to be what? Okay, just feed my sheep. It's that simple, man. Okay, though, don't make this true, though, you know, overcomplicated. All you got to do is feed his sheep, man. He saith unto him the third time, right? Which three means understanding. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. And that's our mission, man. Our mission in this ministry, which is the ministry of Yahweh is to simply feed his sheep, man. You see, so summer exhortation number six for you brothers out there who are fighting the good fight of faith. A hey, continue to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashmael Shai in truth and sincerity, man. You know, don't make it overcomplicated. And matter of fact, real quick, I want to get examples of what do sheep eat? Okay, and sheep are very, you know, simple animals. You know, they don't eat, you know, the heavy stuff, you know, the meat. They eat, you know, uh, you know, a small you know, easy to digest uh, uh, food. Like what? It says sheep love treats and snacks. And sure, you know, make sure that your sheep remain healthy by feeding appropriate snacks. Yeah, you want to make sure you give your sheep the right nutrients, man, the right foods so they can sustain themselves. You don't want to give them crap, you see, or else they're going to bug out and go astray. For example, it tells you that in Peter, this is the book, book of Peter, 2 and 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk 
of the word that ye may grow thereby. You see that? So in order for your sheep to grow, you got to make sure you keep feeding them the appropriate food, man. Okay, with the right nutrients. So going back to the examples of what sheep eat, you know, fresh carrots, apples, cucumbers, watermelon. Okay, hey, watermelon and cucumber, hey, these are foods that have a lot of uh, a lot of nutrients, a lot of vitamins, a lot of water as well. And pumpkin, yeah, pumpkin, which is good. Okay, I believe it has zinc. Avoid feeding animal products. Yeah, and that animal product, man, it goes into the, the meat. You know, the heavy stuff. You know, you don't want to be too deep with, with the nation of Israel, man. Fruits with pits in and avocados, which are all highly toxic to sheep. You see, so you don't want to feed, you know, toxicity to the nation of Israel, man. Lest they, they get sick. Matter of fact, it tells you that. In the book of Proverbs, this is Proverbs 25 and 16. Do you like honey in the NLT? Do you like honey, which is food? Don't eat too much or it will make you sick. You see that? So, hey, don't be feeding the sheep, you know, just too much. Okay. You know, you know, try and do too much. Right. Uh, in Spanish, we call uh, someone that's eating much uh, or ate too much uh, empachar or, or, or bloated. You know, you get bloated. You start you start feeling uh, some, some type of way because you ate, you know, too much of what you were supposed to eat. But it was just too much, man. You know, and that that's an example. And it's truth. You know, you're trying to... Uh, you know, break down, you know, Daniel, the seventh chapter, you know, Revelation, the 13th chapter to a, a new, a new sheep, you know, a new brother. And he'll start bugging out, man. You see, you make sure you uh, feed him. Okay. You know, the milk, the appropriate, okay, uh, milk, like what a, the, the image of Yahweh Shai, you know, his, his, uh, his nationality, a, um, who you are, the curses, Deuteronomy 28, or the blessings, you know, the gospel, repentance. And these are all examples, man, of, uh, you know, the, the, the healthy stuff, you know, staying healthy. You as a man of the Lord, but also you being healthy, you have to uh, show that example of healthiness uh, to the Occupy and Aquath, man. And with that, again, summer exhortation number six continue to feed his sheep and i pray this lesson was edifying and i want to say shalom